We've saved the best for last. Nothing could really prepare me for day number four in Nantucket. While I was chasing bluefish, Elliot was behind the scenes rigging up monstrous baits for a fish that I can't even begin to wrap my head around. To be quite honest, I didn't think anything could really top the previous trip going for those big sharks, but that all seemed to change soon after we made our way on the beach. You guys will just have to stick with this one, stay tuned, and enjoy for what is about to ensue. Well, we're getting bites. Tide switching. The night is super young. Tom. What do you plan on doing right now? You are a decoy for a great white shark right now. Absolutely. But oh you know what? my god. We're going to send out a bait right now. It's a little bit breezy. Are we doing a different rod? Is that what's going on? No, we've actually pulled in our baits. They've oh, been okay. chewed up a little bit by, you know, bluefish, dogfish, potentially. Garbage. We're going to send out something juicy. We're going to get it out there and hopefully get that nib that Wait, we've been looking for. That's what Alex is hauling out there. This is our little bait. Little bait. That's a slab. It's a freaking... About a pound. Circle hook, rubber banded in. Keep it hanging right there. Oh, Put holes in it. This is our eight ounce sinker here. What do you guys use freshwater fishing? Like oh, a, eight ounce sinker, same. Like a little what, a split shot? Yeah, a little split shot. Oh, split <laughs> shot. <laughs> Cute. Oh, look at He's going. He's like, let's go. <laughs> well, guys, if, uh, if the uploads tend to kind of die off after this one, it's because my cameraman got eaten by a, uh, a great white. Anyway, yeah, he's. He's actually going to drift down another bait right now, which is kind of good because a lot of our baits been getting picked apart like he was saying earlier. That's kind of the name of the game. It's like there's not just sharks down there, there's little fish, and they tear apart the juice. It's almost like when you flip a jig in an area and then you lose your claws from a bluegill or shell cracker. Same situation, completely different story. Terrible analogy, but you get the point. Look at this. Mayhem. It's crazy with that fish. Yeah, it looks so sick. There he goes. So Elliot literally holds the rod. The bait is on the paddleboard with Alex right now. And that goes what, like 70 yards, 50 yards? Try like 150, 200. It goes like two, <laughs> uh, goes 200 yards. Or until he falls. Tell him he's got the paddle backwards. Spinning he doesn't around. care, he doesn't care. He looks like a psycho with the... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's loving it, man. Bro, he's oh, a great white bad. Cinco. That's what he is. How did he just got nailed? What would we do? What, what could we do? You gonna swim out there? What, what, there's no, <laughs> no there's no solution. Yeah, you just reel it in. <laughs> See a shark fin, start yelling. Little does he know there's a big trouble under the paddleboard, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Here he goes. No way. Dry as a bone, man. Hell yeah. You did it. No you way. didn't get eaten by a shark. Mission success. We still have a cameraman. That's always a big plus. No, so we've got another bait in the water. It's juicy. Even if we get like a little tiny whatever, like a little tiny shark, it's huge, it's big, it's a big moment. It'd be so cool to land a big fish from the beach. Land-based fishing is so much fun because it's a challenge. You're limited to where you can fight the fish, that being, of course, the shoreline. Sweet, I'm feeling it. Let's get after it. Boys, time for a little catching cook. Let's get after it. I'm very excited for this. We're gonna be using this catching hook a little bit different than the last catching hook we filmed in England. Um, instead of doing like a dip, we're going to do a catch and cook of a fish that a lot of people, actually the majority of the people in England would never even touch. In the beginning of today's video, I caught that little tiny bluefish. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, there we go, I'm on. Yes, I'm hooked up. I'm hooked up, I got a fish. I'm bent, yes, let's go. Yes. Feels good on the ultralight. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That's tough to beat, man. As soon as it got out there, I just got smacked on the top water, on the little tiny bass top water. We'll see, it could be a blue. It's not really fighting too much like a striper. Uh, it's a blue. It's a blue. Hey, it doesn't matter though. We will take them. And the cool thing is, is this blue will be really good shark bait for later. So while it's not necessarily ideal, it's not too bad. You gotta, you gotta look at it from a, a half glass full situation here. But I was thinking, I wonder if they taste good. I brought it back to camp. Ray was like, yeah, no, definitely cook that thing. It's good. Lo Ray's a local. He fishes here all the time. His dad runs like an exceptional charter out here, arguably one of the best. And he's like, yeah, you need to cook that thing. Back on my mind, I'm thinking there's no way this is gonna taste good. So I'm gonna grab some seasonings. I've got some salt, some pepper, some rosemary, some garlic. I'm thinking the more seasoning, the better with this fish. I've heard it's a little fishy in some parts, but if we do it right, I think it will taste pretty damn good. Play 
little bit of butter on this. Some, some flavor right off the bat. Big chunks of sea salt. Rosemary is always a win. The more the better. I'm gonna add a little bit of Texas beef seasoning to this. I know it's very contradictory to throw Texas beef on a fish that comes out of the Atlantic Ocean. It's a very strong flavor, right? So the idea behind this is it's not an ideal fish to eat. So we're trying to make it ideal with um, the best possible flavors. And this Cosmos Texas beef seasoning has a really good job of just kind of laying some foundation flavor to your uh, your meat, whether it be fish or chicken or whatever. Cool thing about this is like you can do this without a propane uh, burner. You can do this without anything like fancy or technical or like a grill. You can just literally wrap this up in tin foil, throw it on the coals and let it cook. That's huge, that's key. So uh, we've got everything we need, it's seasoned, it's ready to go. Let's get to cooking. It's already sizzling, it's insane. So this is a very primal way to cook your food. Oh, whoa, hey, hang on now though, 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 though. Though I don't know what I'm doing. That looks pretty flaky to me, boys. We'll give a little Gordon Ramsay taste test here. That's really good. Bluefish is done. It's actually really good. Yo, 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 yo. We're hooked up. Got him. Yo, what is going on? What is this? Well, you're over there. Here. John, yeah, go, go. Me? What the you mean me? Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, went from a catch and cook mode to like now catch a giant fish mode. It's huge. <laughs> Let's go. Catch and cooks when there's giant fish swimming around. It's gonna be potentially a long fight. <sighs> Good, I got time. We got all day, baby. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> we are fully bent. Here's the deal, you're 200 yards out and look how hard it is to move yeah. five yeah. feet. I don't have a full perspective of this fish, do I? You have no idea. This I thing have is no idea. 10 feet long, 12 feet long, bigger than you. It's a big fish. Don't know what it is. We're thinking it's a big stingray. Catch and cook gone wild. Catch and cook gone wild. <laughs> How does it feel, man? How does it feel? It feels like straight feel? meat. It feels it's great like... weight, trust me, but you'll, you'll freak out here and there. That's uh, so much drag on there. Yeah. And uh, whatever you need to harness. Okay. And if you think he's going this way, we'll crank this one in. Okay. He's fully just this way right now. He really digs this side. The tide's going that way. Oh. All right, talk to you in a couple hours. <laughs> Should I be pulling on it at all, or what's the deal? Every single like reel down and pull, it's just drag though. Originally, I signed up for a bluefish catch and cook. Now we're next leveling this. <laughs> Time's point. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, he just came off. He just came off there. He's a suction cup, and when you when you break him, that's when you can move him. That's, that's when you should really crank yeah. him in. So, Elliot, what do you think this is? What do I know this is, dude? It's a monster freaking stingray. It's probably 10 to 13 feet. It ate a bait, like, dude, it ate a bait that big. And uh, we got the 130 spinning reel with roller guides, dude. Oh, life is good, man. A little Komodo trick there soon. A little GT trick. It's moving. Elliot's up front, guiding this fish towards the beach. You guys understand, like these fish, they have a weird ability to literally, physically suction cup themselves to the bottom of the ocean floor, which, which makes it at times quite literally impossible to reel them in. Like at that point, you're, you're snagged. It's almost like you're snagged on a, on a boulder. So Elliot is just kind of gently guiding this fish towards the beach so we can safely unhook it, release it, grab some pictures and hopefully some video. And the coolest part about this is if, and hopefully when we land this fish, you're going to tag it. Might be the first, first one ever tagged, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's going. Is it little or is it big? It's a dogfish, right? Big dogfish. Dude, I was pulling, you were as tight as you could be, and I was pulling with all my strength. Nothing. And we, could, and we moved it 10 feet and it just took it back. Right on. One full and one half full grown men pulling this fish in. 
10 feet. That's, that's all we could get. One and a half full grown men could barely even yank 10 feet of line in with this fish. He's grumpy. I think this fish is just mad at us. Bottom line. Sort of kind of feels like we're getting close right now, but I don't want to jinx anything. If you ever have the ambition to fight a big fish from the beach, don't wear a sweatshirt. But if you do wear a sweatshirt, make sure it's a rig sweaty. Oh, because speaking of sweaty, I am very much so drenched in my own sweat. God bless it, this is a workout. It's the best feeling ever to, to, to hook something that is way stronger than you. I can't explain it, you guys. You just have to do it for yourself. It's just so insane. It's so insane to feel something this powerful. Like seriously, the hardest fighting fish I've ever hooked. Hands down, no question. Undisputable. Putting every ounce I can into this thing. I mean, I'm literally leaning back. John's cranking down. Like, that's the strongest line, strongest really good put on a spinning gear, and it's just freaking such a big freaking ray. I saw it, I'm guessing 10, 12 feet, dude. I'm like in the zone as it gets right now. And these are such a prehistoric, weird animal. Definitely gonna tag it, definitely gonna try to find out more. No one knows why they're coming here, what they're doing. Next level freaking out. <laughs> this is so huge. The school was packed, like right to the edge of the, the brim here. So I figure probably like 70, 80 yards left. Still a good ways out there for sure. We're like, coming on now. It's, it's a pretty long Tom Brady TD pass, isn't it? Yeah, so. but with AB, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch out for his tail. They'll kill you. Watch out, there he is. Watch out, watch out, watch out, you. Stay tight. We have to move him to the light. He's still fighting me. He's still trying to make a suction cup. Let's go! <laughs> what the f am I looking at right now? This isn't real. You gotta come help that. Uh... What do you need help with? Yo, I wanna swing him side. She's not gonna swim off, eh? Yeah, it's all five, six hundred pounds. You're not moving. Look how thick he is. Look at this beast! This freaking animal! This this is what literally put me on a ride. This right here is the New England Stinger. What, what is the technical term? It's a rough tail ray. It's a rough tail ray. I and they, guarantee you this fish is 100 years old, man. 100 year old fish. Just destroyed me. I'm 23 years old. The best part is we get to release it and tag it. I'm just gonna put a tag in this fish right now so we get a little more uh, information about these guys and also measure them as well. All right, so here, tape. we'll get the official measurement down. So from the tip of the nose. Yep, yeah, we're good. We're good. Hang on. Yep, we're good. What do we got? Twelve feet, baby. <laughs> 12 it's feet. what? <laughs> One forty-four, twelve feet. We'll follow it down. Perfect measurement. Look at this. Twelve feet. Twelve feet. That's Elliot's crushed my biggest fish ever twice in two days. First a blue, now a rough tail stingray. A incredible fish. This thing looks like it belongs on Mars. Here we are, right on top of it. Like, it's just unbelievable. Look at this beast. So check this out, I'm gonna do the tagging. I don't really know, There's a, I don't know. No one tags these things. So this is a tag right here. Uh, this seems like the best spot. No, so little is known about these things and why they're here. This is so exciting to get one this, this freaking size, man. Um, so, tags in. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna work with the, uh, getting the hook out here. Got the hook out. All right. Wow. Let's pull it out from here. Okay. Guys, okay, so we just we've tagged the fish. We've unhooked it. Now time for the best part: the release. This fish is older than all of us combined right now on this beach. 
and we're now gonna send it back on its way. What a fight that was. What do you need help with? It works like a stegosaurus. This right here is what got our homie Steve Irwin, rest in peace. But yeah, this is the barb. This is what gets you. It's a poison slime covered barb. And this is, uh, they work like a stegosaurus almost. It's not what you think. I've actually pulled these out of sharks before. It's that they're vents from sharks, which are their only natural predators. All right, man, if you want to grab that. It's uh, like what, like these guys? Yeah, you're going to stick one hand kind of under his lip to. Under his lip? Under his mouth? Just, just so he'll move. He's not, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to release you. There we go, I'm walking it. Alright, it's starting to swim. No, oh, it just stopped. Okay, it's heavy. It's heavy. It keeps sucking under. Alright, he's swimming right at me now. Keep going. Do you think we're on there? I mean, look at dude, look at this. Look at this thing. When you got these things on the beach. They look big, but when you put them in the water and you're in the water with them, it's a whole other perspective. He's getting tight right now. I'm trying to revive this fish right now. We want it to live. It oh, he'll live. live. Yeah, obviously. It's just yeah. a matter of him kicking off. Him, yeah, we, we want him to. That was a big fight for both of us. Probably me more than him. He just was going to roll right now. That's crazy cool. We did it! Woo! Oh my gosh! I have no idea. Going boys. Boys! Let's go! I didn't oh I honestly like first big fish ever hooked from the beach was like not sure if we were gonna land it. I don't know what I'm doing. You know how much can go wrong? That, think about the hook. Its mouth to the end of it was 12 feet. If that tail, I mean if it hits the line, snap. That's I mean, what I'm saying. Dude, its way, tail was a battering ram. Dude, the, the tail is like, I wish you guys could feel this tail. Like my hands are a little like chalky from the tail, just holding it. Its uh, tail is insanely rough. It's like called, it feels, it's yeah, called rough a rough tail, tail right? Yeah, it's I mean, its name. But holy A 12 foot long creature. I mean, in that, I mean, four or 500 pounds, who even no. knows how much that So we were just, made. I was thinking in my head, three records. Biggest, like weight wise, longest, oldest fish I've ever caught. Oh, at least. Estimated between like 80 and 100 years old. No one knows anything about these. It's so weird. They showed up here two years ago. Ray and I were spear fishing, and he thought it was a fishing rod on the bottom. And he goes to pick it up, and then he like realizes what it is. He totally freaks out and he takes off. And Enormous. from then on out, dude. Huge shout out to these boys for making this possible. Like here, here I am, bass angler, true and tried. Come out here on the beach, catch a fish like that. That is makes my mind melt. Okay, like here I am filming a bluefish catch and cook. All of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. All mayhem just unravels. And here we are with a stingray on the beach. This is so huge. I figured this would probably be the best moment to wrap up today's video. If you guys want to fish with Elliot, if you guys want to fish with Ray, if you guys want to come out here to Nantucket, do it. There's no better explanation other than what just happened or excuse for you not to come out here. So we're gonna wrap today's video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys wanna see more Goliath fish adventures, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe um, and we will make it happen. Believe me, if this video gets, how about this? If this video gets like, I don't know, what do you think? Like 10,000 likes? This video gets 10,000 freaking likes. I will catch a fish bigger than that in a country that I have never been to. Hands down, flat out, no gimmicks, no YouTube bullets. I will fully go and target a fish bigger than that in a country I've never been to. And I'll just, as the Nelk boys would say, fully send it. Anyway, I'm Peace Not Sign Out. We're gonna get this camp all wrapped up. I appreciate the view. Thank you so much. And as always, folks, keep stingraying. Never stop. <laughs>